Hello, this is my video on how I think the launching girder works on the construction of the Colne Valley Viaduct for the HS2 Railway from London to Birmingham. The viaduct is made up of concrete segments. These have to be lifted into position so that the job of the launching girder that has been called Dominique after its designer Dominique Giroux and manufactured in Italy. Dominique is basically a horizontal crane that moves forward across the viaduct but it is already built lifting into place concrete segments it is 160 meters long and can launch forward 78 meters it weighs in at 700 tons and can lift two loads of 133 tons it was used before in hong kong for the east taisley viaduct and shipped to the UK in 49 containers. It is made up of two parallel girders that have steel space frames consisting of triangular sections all painted red. These are bolted together to form the girder. The access parts to the girder are painted yellow. The girders are supported by two main transferal beams and legs that could be jacked up and down and also run on rollers via the bottom cord of the girder. For lifting mode, these are fixed down to the viaduct, normally over the piers. There are two smaller support legs at the front and the back of the girder that are used in the operation of launching Dominic forward by taking the load off the main legs. On top of the launching girder are two main lifting gantry trolley cranes and two smaller auxiliary cranes for lifting up materials and plant. Here we see all the cranes moving across the top of the launching girder speeded up. It looks like they're having a bit of a race with the auxiliary one trying to catch up with the main trolley cranes. And the last part of the kit is a segment lifting beam that fits into the holes cast into the top of the segments. It has locking arms to engage with the segments for automatic lifting. So this completes the components of the launching girder, the main legs, front and back, the small front and rear legs, two trolley cranes with lifting beams, the two auxiliary trolley cranes, thanks to HS2 for the drawing. Now we have a look at the sequence of events in lifting in the segments and moving forward of the launching girder. This is a temporary steel support rigged up on a small single pier and a small front leg is moved forward to be fixed to the temporary steel support behind the concrete pier. And so the launching girder is fixed down with the front and main legs to the viaduct and the front small leg on a temporary steel support behind the pier. Now two of the sections can be placed on top of the pier and post tension down. You can see the wires sticking up here and when the main front leg can be moved forward to the pier and fixed down as the blue lines show here. So now how to move the rear leg forward? Well here we see the small rear leg fixed and the main rear leg being moved forward to where the front main leg was. So with the rear leg now repositioned and fixed down, the launching girder is ready to launch forward. The two lifting gantry trolley cranes are positioned above the front leg and the pier, and then cables fixed to the leg as the blue lines here show. The drive motors of the trolley cranes are used to power the girder forward. So with the warning buddies going, Dominique starts to launch. All the contact points of the girder are on rollers, so this allows it to move.
girder has to reach over half the distance of the next span so it can load the next set of segments equally each side of the pair. This shows the balance of six segments either side of the two middle ones to form a span. The segments are moved across the viaduct from the factory at the north end. The trolley cranes move to lift the segments and use the lifting beam above the segments. So we can see the trolley crane moving the segment between the girders towards the next span. You can also see the yellow access cage at the end of the previous span used in the post tensioning of that span and a cherry picker. Everything is ready for the segment to be lowered and swung into position. A special glue is applied to the surface of the segment and then it's lowered into its final position with an accuracy of three millimeters. Dominic has the ability to lift the segments over its front main leg or the left hand side of the span and here we see the yellow access cage hanging off the auxiliary winch ready to be positioned for the post tensioning work. The lifting beam above the segments has the ability to swing the segment around as we can see here. So this is the sequence that Dominic uses to launch forward across the two miles of the Colne Valley and will lift in a total of a thousand segments to complete the viaduct. If you have any questions or even answers, please leave them in the comments section below. One of my questions is, what are the antenna at the back and the rear of Dominique and is this the power cable that powers it? So as Dominique launches off towards London, across the lake, I thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please click the thumbs up button. If you press the subscribe button, you will see my future videos and you can look back on my channel and the previous videos I've done on this and other subjects. I will leave links below in about other content or a group regarding the Colne Valley Viaduct for HS2.